Hello there, it's Carla here from Sea Law Plans. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you again for joining. I am here today with something for me that is very exciting. I am here to unpack my very first Sojourner journal covers. I learned about this company probably about six months ago through Instagram. I saw several of my people that I was following have these beautiful leather covers with the pockets in the front and I just had to kind of look it up. And so I'll go ahead and leave the website down below in addition to their Instagram handle. Their Instagram page is beautiful. So the company is owned by a woman named Rowena and she has got a great little story over on her website, but she basically created these covers because she herself couldn't find exactly what she wanted on the market. So she created her own business and I've been drooling over these covers for a very long time, but I did not decide to purchase because they are genuine leather covers. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but for leather, I think that you realize that you're gonna pay for leather. But she came out with some limited leather and guys, oh my stars, it was purple. And you know I had to do it. So not only did she come out with a limited purple leather, but she also came out with a limited floral leather. So I splurged and I ordered three covers. So let's get into it. The first cover I ordered is an A6 to hold my daily planner. So this is in the pattern Violet Blossom. And then I'll go ahead and open all of them and then I'll show you the features of them as well. So that was my A6. The next one I decided to order was for my Hobonichi Weeks. And this is the purple leather with a violet blossom pocket. And the last one I decided to order was also the purple leather with the violet pocket, but this is for the A5 size. Now this is probably gonna be my most widely versatile one because I have a lot of A5 books. I've got my Passion Planner, I've got my Hobonichi Cousin, I've got a ton of journals in A5 size. And so I know that this one is gonna be used most widely, but obviously the Weeks is a lot more specific in size. And then the A6, I actually have several journals in the A6 also. And so this one is gonna be pretty versatile as well. And so the A6 has the pocket in the front and it also has an elastic closure. This I did pay extra for the elastic closure and I love the way that the caramel color for the elastic and I just need to say something too. I had such a great experience with emailing the company because these were limited leathers. You could not order them traditionally on the website. It was just too much work for her to make a whole new listing for a limited leather. And so she did an Instagram live and was showing off this particular leather. The purple was limited from before, but this leather she was showing off and obviously it's floral, it's purple. I completely loved it. But she did say in the live that you needed to email her to request some and get on a waiting list. And so I emailed and I had explained that I'd never ordered before and she sent me the links for the item that I had wanted. She told me how to order with the limited leathers. She told me about the closure and she even told me about the best color that she would recommend, which is good because I was actually gonna get some sort of brown too and this one is the caramel color and I was gonna get a much darker brown so I'm actually really happy that she told me about this caramel color because I think it looks a lot better than a darker brown would have looked. But that's my little story. So you've got your pocket here, you've got your elastic closure, and then when you open it, you have a slit here for stickers or a ruler or stencils or anything. And this is where your journal goes. You have another slit here, and then this is where the back side of your journal goes. And so this is gorgeous. I just absolutely love this art. And this is just a little note of thanks from Rowena. And then I also got like a really cool little leather 
business card of sorts, which I think is really awesome. I love that. And so that is my A6. And then this is the one that I have for my weeks. Again, with the pocket in the front, same elastic closure. And this one, because of the height of the planner, I got two slits for pockets. Now they're not traditional pockets. They're literally just cuts in the leather. And then you can probably put IDs in there as well and debit cards and you can make this a wallet and I'll go ahead and try that as well. But you get four slits in there as well. And so I'm super excited about that. And then my A5, which is probably the one I'm most excited about because I just, I know that this one is gonna have probably the most use because I have so many A5 sized things, but you've got your really nice pocket here, your elastic closure as well. And then this one, again, because of the height, you get six slits in your leather here. And then I just love everything about this cover. It's really thick. It's like a really thick leather. It's a really smooth leather, but it's not so thick to where it's not bendable. Like it's, it's a flexible cover as well. And so I think the quality is absolutely amazing. The stitching is wonderful. And I love that the stitching kind of matches the colors. And then here's the thickness of the one with the weeks. And it just smells like, I opened my box and oh my gosh, it just smelled like a, a store that you would go into with leather handbags or something. I'm also super loving, obsessed with handbags. So, but it smells like a really good quality, genuine leather. All right, so let's go ahead and stuff them. All right, so I had to get some coffee. It's four in the morning while I'm filming. So coffee was needed. So let's start with so I'll try and edit out all of my sips and stuff like that. Okay, so let's start with the A6. So this is right now what I have for my A6 sizes. So this is just a blank Tomo River notebook. This is my Hobonichi Daily. And then this is currently my, I don't know, it's kind of like a mess journal. It's got all kinds of notes for videos and content. It's got personal journaling. It's got the passion planner launch party zoom notes like book notes it's kind of a random journal so this cover is not made for this planner and i want to show you the difference in these so the thickness to start with so this one is much thicker this is zequins i think it's zequins maybe it's zequins i don't know but this is the zequins 360 journal and then this is the hobonichi a6 daily planner and so there is a significance different in size with bulk in addition to in height and so i'm going to try them both just because i can so we're going to start with i don't know if i'm going to take that out i really like that the traditional a6 which is what this is made for the description says that it's made for the hobonichi a6 or this i think it's called nami notebook, the cafe notebook. So we're just gonna put this puppy in. So it looks like these are true to size, fully fitting covers. And so it's slightly challenging to get it in. I'm sure that it's just because the leather is brand new but it is kind of nice that it is the size of, like a true size of the planner because it's just a lot less bulk that you have to carry around. And so you can put your pen in here, you can put your stencils in here. I always, almost always have a ruler as well. So it doesn't have a pen loop, so that's why you have the pocket here in the front. But this fits the Hobonichi Cousin completely perfectly. Like, or excuse me, the Hobonichi A6. It fits the Hobonichi A6 perfectly. It's a true fit sized cover. Now, even just looking at this, I do not think that Z Quins is going to fit in here, but I'm gonna try it anyway, because I said that I would. Now, 
Now it is much easier to slide in because it is a shorter journal. And so it's just slightly smaller than the A6 Hobonichi. Oh, look, it does fit. Ooh. So this is a really chunky journal. And so this means, this makes me super happy because you know what this means is this means that as you use washi and stickers and your planner bulks up, it'll still fit in the cover. Oh, I'm super excited now. Oh no, now I don't know which one I want in there. I'll have to think about it. Uh-oh, okay. So I'll have to think about that because I don't know which one I want in there full time. Next up is my weeks. Okay, so this is my weeks and this is the cover that I have it in now and it is packed full of just all kinds of random stuff because this is kind of my main on the go planner. And so this is what I use for everything first. This is kind of my catch all and my dump. And so at least I have out of all of my planners, at least I have one planner that I know has all of my appointments and schedule in it is this one. Oh, this slides in much easier. And maybe it's because it's a hard bound. Oh, that was easy to slide in. So this one also on the website states that it does fit the Mega. And I know that it would because it has extra slack here and because this A6 fit this chunky thing. So this would also fit the Mega. Unfortunately, I did not order the Mega. Really valuable lesson that I learned is I need the Mega because I would be able to avoid to have that A6 daily. So next time I get the weeks, I will get the Mega. But Again, the biggest downside that I see with these planners is there's no pen loop, but you can't really put a leather pen loop on a leather planner. And so I've actually seen several people buy pen loops and stick it to their pencil boards. And so that way when their pencil board is in, they have an adhesive pen loop here, so they have a pen loop here. But you also have this pocket in the front that you can put your pen in as well. Now, because this is my main on-the-go main planner, I do have all of my stencils and my tiny stickies and first coffee, then plan. Hang on just a second, drink some coffee. And so I do have all of this as well. Now, this stencil is metal, so it will make me nervous to actually put it in the pocket, but it has this really cool clip on it. And so I can just clip it into the actual planner. And these stencils, let me see if they fit. Oh shoot, they don't fit, that's okay. They are bigger than a credit card though. So let's see if a credit card fits. This is just my um, Eddie Bauer rewards card. Okay, so this does fit a credit card and when you push it all the way down, it kind of stops naturally. And so it does fit a credit card, which is nice because you can kind of make this your wallet, which is a lot slimmer than what I was previously using. I had that print pression weeks cover that I was using for a wallet, but it was just way too bulky. I did like the snap cover because I liked the idea of everything being kind of enclosed and safe, but I just, I couldn't get on board with it. It was way too bulky. So this is good to know that really all I ever carry with me is my ID, one debit card, and then in the back, I'll put my insurance cards. That's really all I ever carry with me. I don't have credit cards and I don't have a bunch of like reward program type things. This thing stays at home because I've got the number programmed in my phone. So with so many things being digital, it's kind of nice to be able to slim down a little bit. And so I'm going to put these things maybe if they come out. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put that in there because I'm not gonna see but I'm gonna put these in the front with, where's my pen? And this is the pen that I always use with it. And another idea, I don't think that it would be sustainable, but you can clip your pen like this. But when you're going in and out of a bag, it might be difficult for this pen to stay. You might rip the elastic, but this is what I'm going to leave it at for now. 
and I actually really like it. I love the size. I love how it fits. I'm really excited about this. I like this a lot. Okay. I know I've said that like 20 times this video. Okay. And here comes the true test here. So again, I have a lot of A5 stuff. So the listing on this says it's made for the A5 cousin full year. You can request a slimmer version if you have the Avec, or you could keep it in the traditional size and you can carry both pieces of the Avec with you. But most people that order the Avec order it because they want a slimmer notebook. So you can customize this and make this width smaller so it's a true fit to the Avec, but this is gonna be the challenge. So this is my cousin. This is what I use for memory keeping and journaling. This is only four months in, y'all. I have no idea what this thing is gonna look like at the end of the year. So let's go ahead and try it. I do not think I'm going to be keeping my cousin in my new Sojourner full time because my cousin usually stays on my desk and I actually got this because I wanted something more flexible to take with me on the go. I also use an A5 passion planner for my hourly time blocking and I want the ability to have a leather cover for my passion planner as well. It's not made for the passion planner, so I don't know if the passion planner is gonna fit in because the cover of the passion planner is different than this. But we're gonna try it because that's what I do. I try the things. It fits. This thing is a chonky beast and it fits and it's not really stretching the leather too much. So that is really cool. That is very exciting. Now this pocket again is much larger so you can easily keep three or four sticker sheets in the front as well. I like it. And so again, you've got your pockets here. Let's try where'd my card go. Let's see how the cards fit in this. Oh, perfect. So it fits well in this to where it stops naturally right here and you still have finger space to kind of pull the card out and utilize the card. So that's really good. I like that a lot. Okay, now the true test. Is it gonna fit my passion planner? I don't know. So because these are true fit covers, it's not the easiest to remove and put in the books. Now, again, this is my first Sojourner cover, so I don't know if the leather loosens at all with age or if it still stays nice and tight like this. But I'm going to have these for a very long time. Sorry, coffee sip. So let's try this out. So this is my A5 Passion Planner. My, it is the same size as the co cousin, but the cover is substantially thicker. So you've got a much thicker cover here. This is really just kind of like a cardstock or a cardboard cover, but this one is like an actual vegan leather cover. I am filming this right now on a Sunday. By the time this video goes live, the new Passion Planners will already be released, but Passion Planner is coming out with some journals. And so I'm really excited for that. And that is another thing that I'm gonna be able to use this for if this fits, is the Passion Planner journals too. As you can see, I've got a lot of notebooks. I'm super obsessed with journals. I write a lot. Oh my gosh, guys, I think this is gonna fit. I write a lot. And so I always need additional journals. One cover is in, at least. If the back cover doesn't fit, at least I know this front cover will fit. So this is actually super exciting. 
Now, the thing that I think is going to be challenging is there is this elastic closure on the back. So this cover is actually really flexible. So let's see if, let's see if it's going to fit. I'm so nervous. I don't want to ruin my planner because I want to try and make it fit in this amazing cover. That elastic, I was worried that this elastic was going to get kind of caught up. It's going to fit, it's going to fit, it's going to fit. Okay, it fit. The back cover was very challenging to get in. And so if I remove this and switch out the journals, I think I'll put the back cover in first. And I think the back cover was just really challenging to get in because it had that elastic band on it, but it worked. So I now have my passion planner in this cover and I'm actually really excited about that because I now have even more possibilities for all of my covers. So my A6 is gonna get a lot of use because I can transfer out everything there. My weeks, obviously this one is the most specific size because it's not even a full traveler's notebook size. So I can really only use it for the weeks. And then my A6, I can switch out all of my journals and stuff in here. I do think for now, I'm going to definitely be keeping the passion planner in here for this cover. It fits really, really nicely. There's still, as far as width goes, a little bit of room. I mean, my cousin was gigantic and my cousin fit in here. So there's still a little bit of room. I don't really use a ton of stickers in my passion planner. It's usually pen only type of spreads because it's just kind of a functional time blocking thing for me. But because the cover is really tight, one thing to note if you wanted to do this with a passion planner, because the cover here is really tight on the inside when you open it, it doesn't really lay flat. So this is what happens when you open it. Okay, so I didn't really love the way when you opened this cover because the passion planner the cover is bigger than this cover. I didn't love the way it didn't lay flat. And so what I did is I kept the back cover in and then I just slipped in a really thin dot grid notebook on this side and it still fits really, really, really well. I mean, everything fits beautifully in this cover. And so this actually makes me even more excited because now I can have all of my functional planning with me and then I can also have all of my other notes as well. So I'm extremely excited about all of this right now. So I've got my A5, I've got my Weeks, and I've got my A6. And again, this is the limited purple leather with the limited violet blossom embossed leather as well. So I will try and leave the links down below for the covers and the website is in my opinion, pretty easy to navigate. And so if you wanted to pay extra, I think it was like $5 for the elastic closure, you could do that as well. And this is the caramel color. So again, if you have questions, feel free to drop them down below and let me know what your favorite colors are. Would you have ordered the purple too, or would you have gone with a different color? And thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up for liking the video. Thank you very much and have a good rest of your day.